my number one dating tip. But Lauren, you aren't even like in a relationship and you don't have very much experience in the field. Oh, I know. I think people like me are perfect to give advice about this because we've done lots of observing and aren't biased or irrational by those pesky emotions that are involved when you are in a relationship. Okay, but in reality, this isn't so much about dating as asking someone on a date. So if you're going to ask someone out, chances are you're very nervous, you don't want to be rejected, nobody wants that. But there's a key that will make this process as painless as possible. And here it is, clarity and directness by using the word date. The word date is almost offensive, it cuts your ears, not even with a good knife, like with a cruddy butter knife. It's so scary to say this word to the person that you're asking out, but it's clear. Alright, so let me just give you an example of the life of two co-workers, Jerry and Liz. I realized after I already drew one on my left hand with my right hand, that I was going to have to draw the other on my right hand with my left hand. So sorry about the lack of artistic ability on my hands and in my hands, and coming forth from my hands. So let's say Jerry likes Liz, and he's been planning out a way to ask her to go on a date. And this is how it goes. Hey Jerry, how are you? Uh, I'm good. So good. I just got a great cup of coffee from that place down the road. Do you like coffee? Great. Do you want to go get said coffee on like Tuesday or something? Now Jerry's thinking, whoo! Yes, I, I finally took the lazy bull of my romantic life by the horns and asked her- Alright, Jerry, way to carpe this diem. I should write a blog. Now Liz, who may or may not like him in the same way, is thinking more along the lines of Yeah, Jerry's cool and I like coffee. Sounds good. Although, his language did imply almost like he was asking me on a date. But no, Jerry and I have just been friends. And I don't want to assume that he's asking me on a date, that would be vain. And so she says, sounds good. Let's check back in on our friends a couple days later in a phone conversation. Ring. Ring, ring, ring. Hello? Oh, hi Liz. Um, so tomorrow's Tuesday, just wanted to make sure that we were good for our coffee date. Hello? Oh, um... Uh, our, our date? Yeah, did you forget? No, no, uh, I just, um... I didn't realize it was a date. <clears throat> now both people feel like they want to move to Germany, change their name, and become a cobbler. Anything but this super uncomfortable situation. The dating and asking people out process is going to have some unavoidable discomforts and rejections, and that's okay. But when you're indirect, it's like shooting yourself in the foot. Think of it like this. It's comparable to a bag of dog poop. Stay with me. It kind of stinks sometimes, but it has potential to be used for uh, fertilizing gardens, if handled properly. But when you beat around the bush and you're indirect, you're lighting the bag of dog poop on fire. It stinks, it's uncomfortable, and the friendship is possibly ruined. Too far-fetched of an analogy? Okay, but you get what I mean. Let's see how this could have gone if Jerry would have been more clear. I'm good. So good. Just got back from this great coffee shop down the street. Oh, cool. Yeah, I know you're like a coffee connoisseur since we've been talking a lot more lately. Um, actually, I was wondering if maybe you'd want to go there with me sometime soon on a date. Now, of course, this could go one of two ways. I really enjoy our conversations and hanging out with you, Jerry, but I only want to be friends. I'm sorry. Not what Jerry preferred, but at least it's over. The band-aid has been ripped off. Clean cut, boom, done. Jerry can move on. And they can still talk and hang out and it not be the definition of uncomfortable. Or, this could have happened. Yeah, Jerry, I'm so glad we've gotten to talk more lately. Coffee sounds great. Yay! Clear and a victory! And then they date for another few years, get married in that coffee shop, open their own coffee shop with their two kids, and live a happy and thoroughly caffeinated ever after. All because Jerry was oh so clear with his wording few years, get married in that coffee shop, open their own co- coffee shop. Coffee shop. Open the own coffee shop. No. Goodbye. Okay,